Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Hanging with the Spear. I'm going to talk about, let's see, bonsai trees today. We are going to talk about where the bonsai tree originated from, what exactly a bonsai tree is, and we're going to start growing four little bonsai trees together. But before we do that, I want to showcase two more students. I have been thinking all about Miss Coriel and Mr. Major. We'll start with you, Coriel. Coriel, I was so happy that you came back to McIntyre. We missed you so much, your spunk, your personality. All the friends in class were so excited to have you back, and I am too. I miss your smile, Coriel. And Major, Major, you are the best, most behaved student I have met. You are a rule follower. You try to include others. You're kind to others. And I just want you to know I'm thinking a lot about you and I can't wait to see you again. So Coriola Major, I hope you guys are doing great and until we meet again. All right, so let's move on to bonsai trees. Okay, this is a bonsai growing kit. I have not even opened it yet, so you guys get to kind of open it with me. But we'll talk a little bit about what the bonsai tree is because, well, there's a lot of facts about bonsai trees. I wanted to kind of look up so I knew exactly a little bit what I was talking about. Now, I've always wanted to grow bonsai trees. I thought they were su super duper cool. Ever since the 1984 movie, The Karate Kid, um, Mr. Miyagi, he had bonsai trees and he would prune them and every I always fascinated by them. They're really, really cool. And Karate Kid, it's a great movie too. I think there's like maybe three of them and then some reboots and stuff, but they're all kid appropriate. So if you want to check them out, ask your family, check them out. Um, anyway, bonsai trees, let's talk a little about what a bonsai tree is. A bonsai, actually the word bonsai means tree in a flower pot. It's as simple as that, that's all it means. And a bonsai tree is a small tree that grows in a tiny pot and growing in that tiny pot, it prevents it from becoming an actual tree. So common misconception is that a bonsai tree is actually a dwarf tree. That's not true at all. There's actually over 400 species of trees and shrubs that can be successful bonsai trees and they're just, they're held in such a small little space that they just grow in that small little space and don't get freakishly large because, well, you take care of them and prune them and stuff. Kind of like fish. If you have a little fish tank, sometimes the fish stay little, but if you take those little fish, to, even goldfish, and put them in like a bigger tank, they get bigger. Same kind of thing, I think, but I could be wrong. All right. What the bonsai means, the bonsai tree actually symbolizes peace, harmony, and balance. Those are all things that I would love in my life, and I do love in my life, so why not have a bonsai tree? Um, they live to an act, the actual like age of a normal tree, meaning trees die, have different ages and lifespans. So if a tree lives to be about 100 years old, a little bonsai tree, it's gonna to live to be about 100 years old. Now there's some trees that can be super duper old, up to a thousand years old, and if you get one of those, then yeah, your little bonsai tree could live that long too. So its age is dependent on what kind of tree or shrub that you actually use to make your bonsai tree. Um, let's see, this is another thing. Um, the bonsai tree uh, originated in China, okay? That's where it's from, it's, it's Chinese. However, um, the Japanese culture um, kind of took it over and not really took it over they modified the bonsai tree and they started actually like pruning them and stuff and using them as like an art but the bonsai tree did originate in china over 2000 years ago and then it kind of like moved over to japan as well and the largest collection of bonsai tree this was an interesting fact is not actually in china or japan it's actually in india and the largest collection of bonsai tree is let's see how i had to write this number down they have 2,649 trees. That's a big deal because they are really old and it takes a lot of care to take care of a bonsai tree. Um, when you're growing a bonsai tree, it's kind of like the chinchilla. It's a big old commitment. When you're growing a bonsai tree, which I'm gonna be growing mine from seeds, these are seeds, so I'm gonna grow mine from seeds. It takes about four years for the seed to even like sprout up into like a little twig thing to kind of resemble anything like I'm not even really close to a tree but something then it takes about 10 to 15 years for the bonsai tree to actually hit maturity so when you actually start um, 
shaping it a little bit. I'm not even gonna go into that yet. That's a whole different art and I won't have to worry about that for a while. So anyway, but there's an art to like shaping it and putting wires on it to actually give it a certain shape and everything. Um, that takes about 10 to 15 years to get your bonsai tree to that actual maturity. So we've got a ways for that. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Like I said, it looks like a little basic tree in the beginning. Um, the difference between the Japanese bonsai and the Chinese bonsai are actually totally different. The Japanese uh, bonsai, remember, there's the ones that came second. A little sort of the Chinese. The Chinese bonsai trees, they grew them in little pots, but they allowed them to be a little more freedom and free form, and they weren't so rigid and didn't have to have certain patterns and shapes. They were allowed to be free. When the Japanese culture embraced the bonsai, they decided, you know what? we are going to make it beautiful and we'll give them perfect little lines, little shapes and everything. And so their shapes are a lot more pruned and rigid. So that's the difference between the Japanese and the Chinese bonsai. Another thing is bonsais can be very, very, very expensive. My kit, it wasn't very expensive. I'm paid about less than $5 a little seedling tree thing. I haven't even opened this up. So I think it's gonna be like four little pots. It's four different trees in here. So I paid $5 for it. For a mature bonsai tree, they can go upwards of $400,000. That's a lot. So they can be very, very expensive. And actually, um, nobility back in the day in Japan, it was considered a, you were considered to be of noble family if you had a bonsai tree, at least one in your household that was over 300 years old. You were considered to be like cream of the crop, really cool. So like, I found that really interesting too. Um, some old beliefs were they thought that if you took care of bonsai tree and had a bonsai tree for so long, it could actually like, you could gain immortality. I mean, you could live forever. Uh, that's a myth, but that's a common like thought they had a long time ago. I don't know. Other than that, just we're gonna plant our seeds today. Um, eventually in four years, I will buy the fancy tools I need to start pruning the bonsai trees if they make it. Fingers crossed, I hope they do. I'll do an updated video in four years if they do, that'd be really cool. But um, you have to change the soil about every two years, just like any kind of um, plant. It's best to have a plant outside and instead of just always having it inside. And they like warm weather, so during the summertime I'll try to keep them outside for quite a bit and in the wintertime we'll bring them in. I don't have a lot of plants. I don't have any plants in my house. I have cats, they eat plants, so that's weird. So I have this wonderful little dinosaur plant, but see, it's just fake. So that's the one I can keep alive. So this bonsai tree is gonna be like a new little adventure for me. But without further ado, here we go. Let's check out the bonsai tree. So it's a cool little box. I can definitely repurpose that and use that for something cool or give it to Miss D Camp because she likes things. All right, inside the box, looks like I have a black spruce bonsai. Whoa, I hope this really turns out like that a Colorado blue spruce. Oh, this is pretty too. Oh my gosh, the other one's even prettier. A flame tree. See flames, like red. And this is my favorite so far, the Brazilian rosewood. Those look super cool. So those are the four seeds. By the way, all my family thought bonsai was lame and so no one would do this video with me. So hopefully you guys don't think it's so lame. I thought it was really cool. I've always wanted a bonsai tree. It's like a bucket list thing for me. It gave me an instruction booklet which will be very helpful to me, because I will need that. Um, don't need this. Aw, uh, look at that. I can name my plants. I bet it means like Brazilian rosewood and stuff, but I think I'll give them names anyway, like different names, like Lily, Fred, Sally, Hercules, something like that. We'll name them later. But anyway, gave me little pot names. I don't know what these are for. They look like little plastic tweezers. Oh, they're pruning. Oh, look at that. They're like little knives. Okay, better be careful with that. I bet those are some of the tools I'll need in four years. Okay. Gave me... All right, this is what I'm looking for. Four little bags. Oh, look, it's Gabriel. Gabriel was one of the ones that did not want to make a video with me. Right, Gabriel? Right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, see. He'll be sorry when I sell this, well... No in 300 years for $400,000. Your family will thank me. Like your children's, children's, Children. children's, children's, children's will thank me. All right, got these little canvas bags. It looks like they have plastic inside, which is kind of cool, but there's a hole on the bottom. So 
Oh, 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 oh. I can grow them in this kit, in this box. Never mind, I don't have to repurpose the box. The box is for the bonsai trees. And they gave me a bunch of Easter grass stuff. I don't need that. And then, I'm pretty sure this is soil. These look like familiar soil discs and silicone package. Don't need that, don't eat those. Bad for you. So these are adorbs. Look at those. So I'm gonna open my little canvas bags. Do, 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 open. And last one. Open the bag. These are so cool. Okay. I'm gonna open my dirt discs because I probably need them. Okay. One dirt. Two dirt. Three dirt. And. Whoops. Uh oh, don't tell Keith I got that on my computer. Okay, and quarter. Alright, now I feel like I should look at the instruction booklet. Hopefully these will be easy instructions. Welcome to the Art of Growing Bonsai. Oh, it told me facts I already know. That's very, very cool. Before you dig in. So, oh no. Guess what I have to do? I think I have to soak these in water for 16 to 24 hours. I think. I don't know. Oh, expanding soil discs. Uh, okay. There's a lot to this. Oh my gosh, and every, all four of them have different directions. So let's check this out. Soil discs, yes, I know, they're gonna grow. It's like really cool. Um, pour two cups of hot water. I better turn my hot water on. Good thing I got hot water ready. Okay, turn that on. That'll take a couple minutes. Um, pour them directly over the soil disc. Add more water to necessary. Drain the soil because oversaturated soil may cause mold. And then I have to pot the soil. So, I had to put my soil discs in a large bowl. This won't be a whole video. We're just gonna have to unpackage and then like, I'll have to show you the results at a different point in a different time. So I'm gonna get a bowl. Chloe did a bunch of cooking today and so she like used my bowl, so I'll just use this bowl. So I'm gonna take my discs. Okay, one, two, three, four. So there's my four discs in my bowl. As soon as my water's ready, I'll pour hot water over that, which will be fun. Um, pour two cups of hot water. Well, this one, I have a feeling it needs more than two cups. Two cups. We'll try a bunch of water and see what happens. Okay, anyway, then I have to drain the soil. I'll do that, but it takes time, I think. Oh, we should be able to put the soil in the things. So that's okay. Crumble the soil and place it in the burlap pot until it's full. Put a small amount for covering the seeds. Okay, check. Carefully take out the pre-soaked seeds. It's the opposite page for directions. Yeah, we gotta pre-soak the seeds. Okay, believe it or not, I gotta soak these seeds for two days. That's so much. I have to soak them in hot water for 16 to 24 hours. It'll improve our chance for germination, which by the way, we're gonna talk about germination later this year. I made a whole list of things that we didn't get to in the school year, and germination has been to be one of those. So we'll talk about that later. Anyway, all right, so what I'll do is I will soak the seeds with you guys. You can see me soak the seeds, because we'll have to do that. I think it's sow, sow your seeds. Sow, sow your seeds. This is sow or sow, Keith? Nobody. Sow, sow your seeds. So I have to do that. Um, it's weird because it's pronounced S-O-W or spelled S-O-W. By the time, okay, then we're going to cover our seeds with soil. Gently and even out, but don't crush it hard. Yeah, we've done this. This is easy peasy. Oh no, these little crazy shears right here, these little cutty things. When mine starts reaching a good height, I have to cut the weaker ones. So it's like killing the runs, that's a bummer. But I'll do it. And it looks like these directions are all the same for each one of these. 16 to 24, 
16 to 24. Save your seeds. Nope, I'll use it. Don't overwater. Okay, I don't want to overwater because it'll cause rot, mold, and growth. And can cool the soil too much, preventing germination. So we'll sow our seeds and we will make our soil. Don't plant our seeds too deep. We're not gonna do that. I'll give it lots of sunlight. I'll add a reminder to schedule my water watering. Shower, don't hose. Okay, all right, let's get this party started. Okay, looks like I need four containers. I just happen to have four perfect little containers right here. So, what did it say to do? Just put a little bit of water in there. Soak it in hot water. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, we're cool. Here we go. All right, first one we're going to do, we're going to do the black spruce. I'm going to shake it. I don't know how small the seeds are. I'm going to open the top just like this, like you're opening a candy bar. Water. Oh, they're tiny. Look at that, they look little poppy seeds. You can hardly see them. See, like tiny little fleas or something. Itty bitty. Okay, I'm gonna take those, I'm gonna open them up. I hope my cats don't drink these seeds because that would be weird. They grow bonsai in their little belly, that would be weird. So, put my seeds in here. Okay, so I empty my little sack out. I have my seeds in here. I will put this under this one so I know which one it is when I'm growing them. And then I'll get my other one. This is the Colorado Blue Spruce. I'll cut the top off just like I did earlier. Sorry, I was sitting so you didn't have to see my ceiling. But, um... Okay, here we go. All right, Colorado Blue Spruce. These look really similar to the other ones, just a tiny bit bigger. If you can see them well or not. There we go, a little bit. So I'm gonna open that baggie up. And I'm rock them in here. And voila. Put it under that so I know which one's which. Two more. The flame tree. This looks cool. These feel like bigger seeds too. Oh my gosh, because they are. Look at these suckers. Huge, they look like massive sunflower seeds. Good lord. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. So, I open those up. Put them in here. Kinda smells like a snack. Put that on there. And last but not least, the Brazilian rosewood. These feel like little seeds. This is my favorite. I hope these turn out. So my children's, 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 children can enjoy the bonsai tree I created for them. And you gotta start with me. That's cool. So maybe you can whack this off your bucket list. Oh, these trees look, these seeds look hilarious. Look at those. Those are weird. They look like tiny little pieces of you know, cornflakes that are old. All right. So, let's take it. My water's almost ready. The light's about to bubble off. You can see the, the blue light in the background. That's the water boiling. If you saw my coffee video, you know what I'm talking about. And then I'll put them in here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take that. And bingo. I'm gonna go ahead and pour my coffee over it. Pour my coffee. I'm not gonna pour coffee over it, that'd be weird. I'm gonna take my seeds. I'm gonna germinate my seeds. Pour some seeds in there. Pour them in here. Oops. I don't wanna get confused with what's what. These guys. Okay. These guys. I had no idea how to do that. It's so cool. These guys might need a little more. These seeds are huge. Like growing gremlins or something. Okay. Now I'm gonna take two cups of hot water and put my camera up. I'm gonna take two cups of hot water and I'm gonna pour them into my little dirt discs. And I have a feeling I'm gonna need more than that, but I'll just start with two cups. Because I think it was two cup per disc, but we shall find out. 
put in there. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's already looking like it needs more. So I'm gonna go grab a spoon or fork, fork so I can kind of break it up. So I'm gonna grab a big old fork. I'm gonna break my seeds up, and I definitely need more water, so I'm just gonna pour some straight water right up in here. Like I'm making a dirt dessert, but it's actually real dirt. Okay, still need some more. Holy cow, about out of hot water. It's actually working really good. So really it's about eight cups of water. I'm sure I don't have eight cups in there. It smells really good. Like instantly dirt. It's really hot though, the pot is because of the metal and the hot water. I was gonna do a cooking video and I was gonna make a strawberry cake with my daughter, but she made the strawberry cake today, so we didn't do a video for it. So maybe my husband's been wanting oatmeal cookies with chocolate chips, so maybe we'll do that video. That'd be kind of fun. And also, sugar cookies. Who doesn't want sugar cookies? Easter's coming up. Maybe we can do like bunny cookies or spring cookies. All right, no joke. My dirt is looking really good. I mean, Gardner be jealous of that dirt. Look at all that dirt. Oops. Okay. So, I don't know. Maybe you can remember the directions, but I don't. I have to put it in there now. It's kind of hot though. Let's put our directions. Soaked it in water. I place the soil in large bowl, poured water over it, la la la. Add more water if I need to. Drain the soil. It's not overly saturated, so nope. It's some good looking soil. We are good. Okay, now I put it in the pot till it's almost full. So see these little tiny little things? I'll put those in there. No idea what I'm going to scoop. Maybe my hands. But... It's kind of hot. Get a measure. use this adorable measuring cup right here. So I'm going to grab this measuring cup. Okay. I'm trying to see how you guys can see it best. I'll grab my little burlap sack. It looks like this. Super cute. Grab my measuring cup. I'll go in there and I will just put soil in it. And I'm going to fill it up a little bit, but I'm going to leave some of the soil because remember they told me to leave some for it. So see, it feels like that. Isn't that adorable? It reminds me of the boot on Wally, -E, which by the way is one of my favorite movies in the whole world. So if you've not seen Wally, -E, you should see Wally. -E. If you're fortunate enough to have Disney Plus, which is kind of cool, Wally -E is on Disney Plus. I would highly encourage watching you watching that. So there's one. And another one. Okay, that's okay. I have a lot of soil. I might have to get some to my neighbor. She likes soil. So I'm gonna have a lot of leftover. Okay. This is so cute. Oh, by the way, when I was looking up like bonsai stuff, there were some really, really cool bonsai facts. Some of the bonsais were, they fit in the size of a thimble. You don't know what a thimble is? It's a sewing tool and you put it over your finger, just this very tip of my finger. The pot was the size of a thimble, a little smaller actually. And then inside it had a tiny little bonsai tree. So I thought that was super cool. So if I end up being really good at this, I'll let you know in 10 or 15 years. If I end up being really good at this, I will try to make a little miniature thimble one because that would be totes adorbs. So, there's that one, it looks pretty good. I think anyway. I might add a little more soil to it, we'll see. And I can't plant the seeds, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to wait on that. 16 to 24 hours, I'll probably do 24 hours. So I'll do it in 24 hours and we'll see how it is. There's one more. These are fascinating. All right, so looks like this. 
this. Ooh, super cool. And one more. And if you guys can think of like names, you can help me name my bonsais if you want. I have four of them. And so you guys can shoot me an email. If you want to email me, you could have your parents send me a text through their mind app. You can write me a letter. I like letter, I like getting mail. I got like six letters yesterday, that was awesome. And yes, I wrote all of you back, I was real excited. I got two more on the way out tomorrow. So I don't know, if you want a letter, just let me know and I'll mail you a letter. I'll send you an envelope so you can write me back or you can write a friend back. I love hearing from you guys and interacting with you guys. All right, so this one's almost full. And I'm gonna save some of the soil because it wants me to save some for when I actually put the seeds in after they germinate a little bit. Uh, put the seeds in and so I'll save some room for that and I'll save some soil for that as well All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, there's the fourth one. All right, super cool So this is really really adorable. So it looks in a box like this See and so I'll be able to plant my little bonsai trees, which is super cool. Okay. Well, that's all there is right now Right now the seeds are just germinating. Okay, and so that should make them growing a whole lot easier. Um, the chance of them surviving are greater and stuff. But I guess that's all there is with the bonsai tree. Like I said, check out Karate Kid if you're bored. The movie's great. Mr. Miyagi, he's awesome. And Daniel's son, obviously. But um, that's it. You guys have a wonderful day. And it's great seeing you.